etti. Uh, actually, a lot of your opponents are criticizing you for uh, being a part of the old regime. Isn't that the case? Uh, yes, yes, I Because heard you that. served as foreign minister for Yes, yes, uh, no, no, but I, my position, I, I, again, uh, wish to say it uh, publicly, I am proud of the period I was the foreign minister of Egypt. I am really proud that I served the country with distinction to the extent that people uh, 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 sang for me. Yes, I know yeah. the song. So you cannot uh, have people singing for you, uh, praising you, supporting you, and then uh, regret it. It is not a question of being uh, part of the previous regime. It's a question of being a positive force and not one of the, uh, of the uh, corrupt group. So this is the criteria. Not I mean, Egypt, there must have been, uh, in, under any regime in any period of time, people who serve the country and save the country from others. But then, doesn't that contradict a little bit with what you just said? Because when I asked about whether or not you would run for president, had President Mubarak, would you have run for president, had President Mubarak not stepped down, you said no. But then when you're talking about your period serving as a foreign minister... Yeah, there is a difference here. Because when I was foreign minister, the, uh, it was in the 90s. Yes. It was a different atmosphere altogether. Also, you think it worked And President order. Mubarak himself was not the same president. Uh, in, in, in the third decade. The constitution did not have such an article that prevents others from uh, okay. running. The, we, we were really doing something totally different. Uh, but we, we had our differences and that's why I left the, uh, the government. You were actually, during your time as Secretary General of the Arab League, you did a lot uh, to help uh, further the uh, never-ending peace process between Israel and Palestine. And you even made a trip there. So it was a very momentous occasion when you uh, went trip, there. Trip to Gaza. Yes. Mm. So that's a, like, that was a very important uh, chapter, I believe, in oh, the yes. Arab world. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, do you think that we'll see peace anytime soon? No, I don't think so. Why? Because of the uh, Israeli policy. They, are, they, they don't understand the developments, they don't appreciate the developments in the region. They are not uh, really committed to peace. But if they are committed and if uh, uh, world politics would tell them that enough is enough and you will have to move from such an intransigent position to a better one that would negotiate in good faith, then we will have a chance. But as long as they continue, as long as they continue the same policy, building settlements, changing the demographic composition, the uh, geographical character of the territories, I don't think there is any chance. If the parliament, the current government in Israel were to change, do you think that their uh, views would change? Or? Well, I don't know. The previous government did the same. They, they talk, they, 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 uh, but they do not change their actual policy. And with this, you cannot have a proper peace. I think. A reaction. What do you think about Turkey's uh, new foreign policy? With, uh, that is now named on no, the zero know, problems with neighbors. Look, I am an admirer of Turkey and uh, uh, started or launched a new collective Arab, our, uh, Arab policy towards Turkey with a forum, with a uh, series of meetings, with uh, strategic relationship. So I, uh, I believe that uh, the Arab world is uh, in a better position with friends like Turkey. I believe in that, and therefore I will continue to promote the relations between Egypt and Turkey, uh, as well as uh, contribute to the overall regional uh, stability, Turkey being uh, uh, one of the leaders of this uh, region. One of the leaders? Of course. Who should be the other leader? Well, Egypt should be the other leader. And uh, should Turkey and Egypt collaborate much uh, further? I believe so. I believe so. Yes. Do you think that uh, as a result of the Arab Spring, we, we still don't know what the result is going to be, but uh, should the, all of the uh, regimes in the region change and most of the countries now hopefully can have a democratic regime, do you think this might further the Israeli-Palestinian peace process, put more pressure? Well, uh, it depends. Uh, you, we now follow what's going on in Israel. Uh, there is an, uh, an uprising in Israel. 
uh, for different reasons, but they bear in mind, even in their songs, what, uh, how Egyptians uh, uh, were uh, asking the president to leave uh, and for policies to change. The Arab, so-called Arab Spring, will influence events in the Middle East, not only in the Arab world, but in the Middle East, and in so many countries. Middle East will not be the same after those revolutions. It will not be the same. It is a matter of time. Things are going to change. It is a matter of time. And this is a message for all leaders, governments, regimes in the region. Things have started to change. This is the trend of history. It is a matter of time. The best thing for everybody, everybody in the government or outside of the government to understand that tomorrow will be different than today and will definitely be different than yesterday.